Good morning to you all. It is Sunday morning, it's just gone 7 a.m. And I'm down at Crystal Beach, and as you can tell from behind me, it's dead. It's very, very quiet. And that might have something to do with the weather. Uh, the weather for today is forecast to be quite stormy. Um, and the, the ICWR, the International Centre of Research for Water Spouts, has issued uh, their models on Friday for the um, a prediction of a high risk of water spouts along the Great Lakes, especially in Lake Erie. And uh, the models were showing quite a few red areas along the northeast area of Lake Erie, which is where I am. So I thought, great, this is a great time for me to get out here, get the sea dew, get out on the water and see what I can see. I'm just looking in the distance right now, it won't pick it up on my camera, but I can do see a little needle really far in the distance. Uh, it's not a spout yet, it's just a little needle, uh, pretty close down by Port Coburn way. So uh, I'm going to get the ski up and ready, going to get my equipment ready. And what we're going to do is just head out onto the lake and probably go past Point Ibano and maybe sit a couple of miles just offshore and basically sit and wait. It's going to be a waiting game to see what pops up and what comes along the coastline. Let's go and get uh, the CD ready and uh, head out on the lake and get away from these squawking birds and uh, see what we can find. All right, already in set to head out. A little choppy at the dock due to the easterly winds coming from Buffalo. Uh, but once I get around the corner head west, it doesn't look as bad. As you can see, it's just a little bit choppy <laughs> by the launch. Uh, winds aren't meant to be too strong today, but with it being an easterly wind, it blows directly onto the, uh, the dock. Uh, I am seeing a couple of swells just coming across uh, from my southwest, which will make it a little bit nice when I get out there to ride in. But we've got a nice opening of cloud there, but a lot of thicker cloud over that way. So I think I want to head out to port, towards Port Coburn and uh, monitor the skies from over there. And worst case scenario, I can always seek shelter at Shirkston. Uh, there's a nice stretch of sandy beach just uh, east of Shirkston as well. And uh, if I go beyond Shirkston, there's always Port Coburn to seek shelter. So anyway, let's, uh, let's get cracking. Oh, it's wavy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Some good waves. <laughs> Cloud doesn't have much energy, but there was a little bit just coming down. And what you gotta look for is basically, oops, quite wavy here by the way. <laughs> Whee! Um, you're kind of looking for a little needle coming down. And as a needle comes down, you also want to check the water surface, see if you can see any uh, disturbance along the water's edge. Because usually, as a, as a needle will come down, you'll see it but you don't always see it come right down to the ground. So you have to look at the water level to see if there's any disbursement. And then you can look, just basically hook the two up and eventually over time, they, they just connect and it should be quite visible. Um, that's the only cloud right now next to us. Uh, the next wave of cloud is gonna be this way down there, which is just probably by low banks, working its way up. Showers likely with a chance of thunderstorms late. Highs ranging from the mid seventies on the hilltops to the upper seventies across the lower elevations. Southwest winds 10 miles an hour or less. Round two. Let's hope I'm a little more successful today than I was yesterday. But conditions are much better. Sky looks great. And most importantly, the lake's calm. So if I see something, I can get there pretty quickly. All right, here we go again. Water spout hunting, storm spotting, whatever. That cloud would be fantastic if it was a bit more over the lake, but uh, we'll keep an eye on it anyway. And more so, we're gonna keep an eye on that cloud just behind, uh, just behind Point Abino. So uh, we'll be out here for a couple of hours, see what we can see, and hopefully we'll get one today.
All right, I think I got myself into a good position here. I don't know, I keep scratching my nose. It's itchy. Uh, quite a bit of droppage just over the shoreline behind me. That's Shirkston over there. Uh, over Port Coburn, a lot of droppage over there. Uh, it's just starting to rain here, but most importantly, the clouds look pretty favorable right over the lake here. So I got myself into a good position where I can have a good view all around to see if anything uh, happens. Uh, that would be very slim chance being so close to shore, but you just never know. It, it would be spectacular because I'm on the other side of it. Oh, here we go. We got one. Oh my God. Right in front of us. Holy shit. It's just starting. You see it? You see that? It's trying to form. Holy moly. That's awesome. I'll try to keep it still. Oh yeah, it's trying to form. This is epic. All right. Come on, form, spin, let's get to you. This is what I've been waiting for for a long time. Okay. It's really close to shore. So I wasn't expecting this one. Oh, big waves. I've got to keep an eye on the waves at the same time here. Bobbing all over the place. Let me just change cameras. That is sweet. Oh, it's just dying. It's dying. Oh, don't die. Don't die. Okay, I've got both cameras on now. It's forming again. Oh, no. Wow. This one over here is actually a land spout. I'm gonna get a bit closer to it. Another one just tried forming over here, which I got with my cell phone and just posted on Twitter. So give me a minute. We're gonna get a bit closer to Shirkston. That thing is big. If that touches down, that's gonna be a big one. Technically, if that forms over land, it's a tornado. So uh, <laughs> gotta keep an eye on this. This is, uh, this is very interesting right now. All right, if I zoom in now, you can see it rotating right in front of me. You can see the updraft coming from the water and it's actually sucking up and it's trying to rotate. That's trying to form just by the beach. Look at the skies though. Very uh, stormy looking right now over uh, Crystal Beach and between Crystal Beach and Shirkston. I thought it was going to be more over land, but, sorry, over the lake. But it clearly looks like the activity right now is taking right over Shirkston. In fact, I'm just looking now, okay, it's just starting to dissipate. But look at the roll clouds starting to form here. We've got some big roll cloud coming in. So this is good. This may turn to a bit of a cell. There's another droppage right. God, I'm spinning around. There's another one there. But the... The one that just fizzled is still rotating, which is there, but the other one behind it is now starting. So I'm going to keep an eye on this. Uh, I'm pretty close. I'm only like a kilometer away from shore now. Uh, let's wipe you off and uh, see what we can find, see what we can see here. All right, another one's trying to form. You see it right there? So we can get a bit closer to this one. It seems to have formed right in the same place again as the last one did. So I'm just going to try and get over there and get a closer look. trying to draw the, the warmth up and suck it right up. 50 feet, 50 feet, 45, okay, oh, the waves are a bit bigger here, so I gotta be careful. This is really interesting. Wow, this is really interesting. Let's get the other camera up so I can document it for uh, Twitter. 
You get to hear me talk on Twitter now. All right, I got it on my GoPro, but it did form. It didn't go into a full funnel, but you could clearly see it was touching water and going right up into the uh, cloud. And it's still trying to hang in there. Okay, check this out. We got one trying to form here, but it's actually over land. It's just beyond Shirkston. You can see the you can see it actually trying to make a tail right now going up. And there's another one over here trying to form, which is just in the field, probably just west of Ridgeway in Crystal Beach. Oh look, that looks pretty cool now. Here we go. So technically that wouldn't be a water spout. That is uh that's a land spout. All right, we have another one trying to form right now. Look at the ground. And you can see it going from left slightly up to the right. Uh, that is just slightly inland from Shirkston, and it's really trying to rotate right now. I can't really get much closer because it goes a bit blurry. So as close as I want to go. I'll zoom out, give you the full scale. As I turn around, though, look at the sky behind me. You can see it trying to come up from the bottom again. It's not quite formed into a full funnel yet, but it really is trying. Got one there. You see it? You can actually see the base of it coming up from the water. Definitely trying. I'm going to keep an eye on that one. The skies are really looking cool right over the, uh, the shoreline. Uh, the edge of it is right on the water. Now we've got a big band of rain uh, just inland from Port Coburn we can see over there. So that's heading... Uh, it's probably towards Niagara Falls way, but I'm still watching these clouds that just keep dropping. Uh, nothing's really formed now, but uh, that was spectacular. Now we have this moving towards Buffalo, but look over there. Now we're not missed. I don't know that's coming up from the cloud, because I know Niagara Falls is in that direction, so I don't want to jump the gun on that one. I don't know if you can see on the horizon the little white bit just popping up. So that could be another rotation trying to like suck itself up over land. All right, I don't think much is happening, so... Oh, look at us to save that. Look at way down there, over Fort Erie. Just a little uh, needle of a scud coming down. It's got potential. But that's Crystal Beach. Uh, just behind it will be uh, Stevensville, so a little stormy over there. So basically, the storms have cut right across and made their way over that way, and heading out towards uh, Niagara and over towards Rochester. A bit of rain over there, but that's really it. If nothing materializes out of that, that's really it, because it's looking pretty clear for a while behind us. <laughs> 